Hello everyone, welcome to Sex Talk with Sharonda. My name is Sharonda Parker and I am your host. I hope everyone had an awesome Mother's Day. I had an awesome Mother's Day. Alabama does not owe me anything. So if you all are like me and you love history, especially black history, make sure you put Alabama on your list because it has tons of history in Alabama. Um, let's see where I want to start because of course we're going to be talking about 18 again. Um, and we're going to be talking about the vaginal walls, elasticity and stretching. We're going to get into that, but who baby Portia then took over the, the internet. So let me say this because I'm one of those people. I know that this is my philosophy and I know a lot of people don't feel the way I feel. I know a lot of what I'm about to say is it's not going to sit well with a lot of people. But when I'm dealing with people, I know that there's no ownership when you're dealing with people. In other words, I know that I don't own another person. So therefore, when our relationship ends, I don't have control over who you move on with in your life that brings you happiness. The only thing that I want for you is for you to be happy. So I know a lot of people don't think on that type of, you know, they're they not thinking like that. They on this girl code. And if I know you and you was an acquaintance and we uh, came, went to an event together, or if we worked together and was co-workers and all of this other stuff. So some people get off into all of that. And my thing is, life is too short for people to be unhappy. So if this person brings you happiness that I can't bring you, I wish you and that person well. And when I move forward, I want you to wish me well with whoever I move forward with. I honestly believe the reason Dennis is okay with this whole situation is because from my understanding, these men kind of know each other or whatever. But... It's almost like I would rather the person that I know versus the person that I don't know, especially when I got a child involved, because I know you, you know me, and I know how you move. I know your character. I would have to get to know another person when it comes down to bringing them around my child. But again, these people in a whole other tax bracket, they circles are a lot smaller than our average selves because we just regular average people. You know, we, we um, part ways. We're going to go part ways and go find another average person. These people are in the upper maybe 10% in earnings for, as far as black people concerned. So they circles are a lot smaller. And I don't necessarily expect Portia to go down when she dating as far as income. So this person looked like he could give her a pretty good life. The wife that he had, for whatever reason, it ain't working with them. Portia like, look, should you, you already know you're a husband. I know I want to be a wife. Let's do this thing. All right. So the product that I'm going to be talking about today is called 18 Again, okay? Um, I recently had somebody to reach out to me, and she has this guy that she's met. He is great. He's awesome. He's amazing. He literally checks off every list that she has. The only thing that he does not check out on is his size. She says he has length, but he doesn't have a lot of girth, okay? So the thing about our vaginal canal is... As women, when we get excited, and I got these rubber bands up here for a reason. This is how it starts off. When we get excited and our vaginal canal start lubricating itself and we getting wet and we get excited, it starts expanding, right? It starts expanding. So that means if he already has a very narrow shaft, we get excited, we start expanding. That means that we can't feel him as much as we would like to. Okay, over the years, your vaginal canal is going to expand through just aging, through childbirth. Um, it's just all different type of things that play a factor in it, not doing Kegels, so on and so forth. But if we want to try to restrict some of that expanding, in other words, we want to restrict it to make it not be able to expand when we get excited, then we want to use something called 18 again. 18 again. Make your vagina feel 18 again. Increase pleasure for both him and her. How so? It increases pleasure for her because now she can feel more. Because this has restricted the vaginal canal from expanding. 
okay? This is just another vaginal tightener. This one is a new one that has come out on the market. Why do we want to go to newer products? Why are we not talking about the old products? Well, I still sell tighten up. I still sell like a virgin. But when new stuff come out, I like to introduce it to my audience. The reason is because a lot of times when new stuff come out, we got new chemists that have come out. We have new ingredients that have been added to it. And sometimes the product is a little more effective than some of the older products. I'm not saying that's the case with this because I love, Liquid Virgin came out after Tighten Up, but I still use Tighten Up because Liquid Virgin has a moisturizer in it. Tighten Up doesn't. Well, when I was younger using Tighten Up, I created my own moisture, so I didn't need the, the moisture part of it, right? So I, went to, I used Tighten Up. Well, now that I'm older, 40 years old, and my body is not creating as much moisture in the world. Well, guess what? Liquid Virgin is the one that I'm using now. Because not only does it tighten, but it gives the moisture. Because my body's not creating as much moisture anymore. Well, 18 again has come out. So 18 again, not only gives my vagina its youth again, but it gives a little tingling sensation. Yes. And it adds moisture. So now this one gives you the tightness the tingling, and the moisture. Do you understand what I'm saying? When, when the products are being created, tighten up, the original product was just strictly for tightening. Then they came out with Liquid Virgin, tightening and moisture. Now they've come out with 18 again, tightening, tingling, and moisture. So 18 again is on the website. Um, this is the month of May, which is masturbation month. Um, our theme this month is May has come, make me come, make me come is still available on the website. Uh, basically what it does is create a lot of blood flow to the clitoris. Um, my ladies absolutely love it. I have been an orgasmics girl forever, but let me tell you something. Make me come. That shit is amazing. Okay. And again, let's not forget our vaginal canal expands with excitement when we get turned on it don't tighten up it doesn't and anybody tells you that it tightens up with excitement they're lying to you okay a lot of women talk about some oh no i don't need no tightener i don't need no this and that the other but the truth is and i'm not saying that you do you do or you don't but what i am saying is this here when you didn't birth multiple children and when you take in multiple dicks throughout the year Sometimes you may need a tightener. And a lot of times men don't know how to have that conversation with you to say, I would really like this to be a little more snug. Because when we start off, we good. But once you get excited and I get in it, this thing start opening up. Men don't want to have them type of conversations with us. So I'm letting you know if you've had multiple vaginal births, like myself, I ain't been taking different dicks, but I've been taking a lot of the same dick. Okay, even if you like me, you ain't been taking different dicks. You've been getting the same dick. But I'm wise enough to know that as a woman and as I get older, my body is changing. So I don't mind trying out the products to see exactly what I like. Okay, because you ain't got to tell me that it ain't snug enough because I'm going to make sure that it's snug. All right. So again, 18 again, vaginal shrimp cream. It is on the website, www.dppgstore.com. Um, thank you everyone who sent me, uh, money to my cash out for Mother's Day. I have decided that I'm going to donate it to a motherless child. At first I was on the, I was on the fence. I was like, okay, well, I know I'm going to donate the money, but am I going to give it to a teen mom or do I want to give it to a motherless child? And I just think that when, when I think about motherless children, I think about, Children who really a lot of times, you know, I'm not saying that people can't love you like your parents. You know, I don't think no one would love you like your parents. They can love you. But I just think that it's just something different when you have your parents that are available to contribute to certain things. So I'm going to find um, a child that is motherless and who's probably about to graduate and bless them with the money because I'm pretty sure that they could use that money. Um, towards graduation or towards transition into college. If you still want to donate, my cash app is on the bottom, dollar sign PPG store.
Because guess what? If y'all send even more money, then I'll find a second child to donate it to. So that's basically what I'm going to do with it. That's what I've decided to do. Um, again, I appreciate it for me, but I'm not really in need of anything at this moment. Um, I mean, I, I want stuff, but I just think that it could be used in other ways. So again, thank you all for everybody that sent me a gift for Mother's Day. But that's how I'm choosing to spend the money. Um, you all be blessed. You all have an awesome day. Um, you know, come into the store and see us. And make sure y'all watch the news because that's the reason a lot of people didn't know what was going on with the gas because they don't watch the news. I know for a lot of people, they don't like watching news. Personally, I don't really do a lot of the local news, but I watch the national news because I need to know what's going on in this country around me. Okay. So every now and then, or set some alerts or something to come to your phone so that you can know what's going on around you. The last thing you want to do is wake up like a lot of people woke up yesterday trying to go to work and get gas and the gas stations were out of gas. All right. You all be blessed. You all be safe. Enjoy the rest of your day.